basically when you look at it, things happened. I mean, uh, disaster happens all over the world, you know? I mean, um, you can't stop that. That is a natural disaster. But um, when I really put the act together and put everything, you know, into into perspective, I think Peter Savan at least still has potential and there are things that could be be done here. If people really, you know, put their heads together and um, basically if we get the assistance and um, that is needed, things can move a little, you know, a little better. Sure. Tell me when you do it. When do you do this? When can people come and help? When? On a Sunday. On a, so we do that every Sunday. The reason why we do it every Sunday is people, you don't get people on Saturdays. People go to their work during the week, their original work place. Then on Saturdays, they get to that time to do something at home or to their, their garden. And then on Sundays, right, on Sundays, we do that like a free up time, you know? Though some of us need to go to church too, but uh, we God understands that if we have something to do, then you you will you know we have to do it. I usually pass around you know and ask people, you know that is what we're doing. Some whatever they give goes a long way, you know, and we appreciate it. Refreshment, cement, sand. We need all that sort of condition because that we we do, we cannot I cannot do it on my own. It's everybody together that is doing it. If you, real, if you realize that everybody still need the village, you understand? We all have been displaced, but everybody still need the village. And then you cannot get up here by walking. You must drive. So and in order to drive, the road has to be in a, some condition. And then we have been going back and forth to the village very often. Some people live there permanently. Yes. And then we need to have proper access. So we're doing what we can. So, you know, if you see that it is a good thing that we're doing, put some input into it as well. You know, especially those, you know, everybody that is living down there and that needs the village. Come for a breadfruit, for our banana, you know, harvest their bay. You know, there is still life up there. So let us keep keep it rolling. To me, we consider in it as we're making the road to our farm because we have no access really to do any farming where we live at Belleville. So right now, to me, it's road to our farm and our life, access to our livelihood. So hopefully, if we continue like this and people continue to contribute towards the the program by the next two months i think we'll we'll be driving from the bridge at bagatel yes. to pivot seven smooth, smooth. Yeah. <laughs>
We have been in Florida, you know, our good grandparents, our parents have been planting bay for about 150 years right now. Because I've been harvesting bay from 10 hours, about uh, 5 years to reach right now. It's almost 50 years, like 49 years of age. Almost 50. So I still harvesting bay by great grandparents and then plant. So that's the very So I like, never plant that So right now, I'm like, trying to plant some for my kids. To bring back, yes. Bring back, you know? so, Life continues. Oh no, we are Belvi for true. But that is not our place, that is not our hometown. There's no place like home, you know, in Jamaica. When you come up to P7 to your hometown, you can never feel more comfortable than you have there. Yeah. You bring your son up? My son? Yeah, he comes. Time by time? Yeah. Bring him and see. You know? Because it was, he was five months when Erica and um, after that, Mario came and he was at Grand Day. Okay, okay. Bring him up and know that is the place that is here. He will raise up and thing you check. Yes, that's where he's from. Yeah, so I have to bring him and experience the vibes. Not the place. Now, ready around here. You raise up rough. You check generation. There is a rough take care of his bill if he's. You check his make room. Plant garden, you check, it's a, it's a vibe, you check, mm -hmm. it's that. So, we have, we have to always teach them to learn how to survive, you check. Is that that green is there now, you know, mm -hmm. you check. Is that I know what I want to do, you know, I have to follow her, go Zion, go and make garden, you check, make bay leaf. You check her, she has said she's a seamstress, she was in somebody that's fully educated to to, to add a lot of riches like my father I had to raise up with my father my father died when I was three years wow. you check and so I raised up with her mm -hmm. so it's like I had to raise up with all them full riches and everything you know how to survive and how to keep moving you check the liquor too the liquor you do is now to deal with it and satisfy what you have and use it in the way possible you check you know ready you can't just let that just go just so you check Oh, what you had and what you had to have. Your yeah, children, children, children would have to have in the future. You check them. You don't just them just yeah. so. so you have to try something, even you might not succeed at the end, but you, you have to try. You always know you try. That is the most important. Yes. You're not trying, and that is a big problem. Find a seat now. You stay in long then. But you sit in there, you are seeing everything. Nice. <laughs> Trying to feed everybody. <laughs> Sorry, I can see you doing a lot for your for your people, you know. Yeah. A lot for your village. I can yeah. see that. Trust me. I'm doing a lot. Trust me. Yeah. 
it's like not not that I have anything, you know. It's like I'm just like everybody else. I mean, I own a vehicle, I own a house, I work every day, mm -hmm. and and you got the skills of motivating people. And I, yeah, I have the skills of motivating people, and I'm all. I also have skills. I'm a skillful person. I very like create. I would say myself very creative, mm -hmm. so I can make things happen. And then yeah. I, because of who I am, I get the support from the young, from the old. You know, it's like nothing is. All the guys, we are friends. We are, they are much younger than me, but it's like I am just even their age group. So that whole thing is like just having fun now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just Sunday. It's like just to have the Sunday, you know, yeah. that day just relax. Sometimes everybody maybe will just be sitting home, cook some food. Mm -hmm. Nothing much to do, you know. Yeah, but yeah. then they are all together doing something, having a drink. Everybody give some jokes. Uh, you know, it's like it's a vibe. Yeah, it's a vibe. It's, all this take out all the stress and yeah, yeah it's healthy. It's a beautiful thing because as you said, that yeah. it's like it's it's healthy, working it's a healthy thing, and they enjoying themselves one time. In one time, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, all in one. Yeah. yeah. After you go home, you have lunch, you have a show. You know. Yeah. It's like one togetherness, a connection. I can yeah. see that. To keep the um, spirit there, you know. Tomorrow I passed away now. Oh, 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 you miss me? I will. I will miss you. So what, what about you inside the same thing at the same time now? I will. One after each other, boy. <laughs> will you? You could have it again. Will you? I will. I would. <laughs> I won't. 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 I